So I found a great app for my phone that allows you to measure the amount of light and tell you the settings you should be using in the current conditions. This app in particular is for Windows Phone, but I'm sure it's available for iOS and Android. It's free, which is great because if you had to buy a light meter, that would cost you a lot of money. The app is called Exposure, and it uses the ambient light sensor on your smartphone to tell you how much light there is, and then it converts that into what settings you should be using, such as ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. So I went outside to test it to see how accurate it was, and I was pleasantly surprised. The only thing is that the f-stops don't go up in the same stops as most modern cameras, such as mine, the lens I use goes to f1.8, and some other lenses that I use go to f36. The app will only let you go up to f22. The ISO goes from 50 to 3200. The shutter speed goes from bulb to overexposed, but I have never seen it read 1 4000th of a second, or 1 8000th, or even 1 3000th. So without further ado, let's see how well it works. So I've told it I want ISO 100 and F4, and it's told me I need 1 2000th of a second. So I'm going to put the camera in manual mode, and I'm using the exact same settings that the app has told me to use. And here's the image that I got. I'd say it's a little dark, but it is well exposed and fairly accurate. Now I'm going to take the exact same image, but using the settings that the camera thinks I should be using. In this case, is 1 8 hundredth of a second. So it is quite a bit brighter, and I'd say it's probably better exposed, but I was happy with the first image that the app gave me. So I'm trying one more time, this time in a scene that could potentially be silhouetted, because the sky is very bright and the landscapes are rather dark. So I tested it out, and this is what happened. In my opinion, this image is perfectly exposed, and this was only using what the app told me to use, so I'm really happy with this app. Um, definitely a much cheaper option than using it, buying a light meter, because um, that can cost hundreds of pounds. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to check out my photography, visit my Facebook page or my 500px page. And if this video helped you in any way, be sure to give it a like and subscribe.